Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're watching in the world, um, or whenever you're watching. It's me again. Um, uh, as you know, this blog, vlog, whatever, um, is my excuse to ramble and ramble. Um, and I've, I guess, got some stuff on my chest that I feel I need to uh, get off. Um, so, I guess I'll cut to it. Um, so, one of the things in my life, or not in my life, I should say, is the fact that I have been single for quite a while and yeah lonely it comes with a package I'm not exactly uh, Prince Charming or that but you know it sucks um, and I'm not exactly the most confident of people like on my main exterior that people see I am this person who can BS my way out of anything, almost. I can talk absolute rubbish and I'm seen as quite a confident person to some, which is really not true. Um, but especially when it comes to women, in terms of you know, asking them on dates or anything like that. Um, because it's not, I've never been good at that at all. And that leads me then into the minefield of uh, online dating, which is truly a minefield. Um, you got to navigate spam bots and fake profiles. Um, People who are generally fake, you've got to try and find someone to talk to, someone to connect to, which is even harder online than it is face to face. Um, I mean, I've been online dating since I was a teenager. Um, and I've, I've noticed a trend with online dating that just I don't get. Um, like I say, I'm not exactly Mr. Prince Charming. Um, that. In my 30s now, I'm beginning to lose the hair a little bit. I'm not exactly a catch, if you will. Um, but hey, you got to try. Apparently, you know, if you're going to actually get anywhere. And the pattern I've noticed is people who just randomly stop talking um, without any reason, without any real build up to. Um, as an example, I was speaking to someone a couple of weeks back online. And we were talking. We, it wasn't like we'd been talking months and months. It had been maybe about a week or so. We'd perhaps just been talking, getting to know each other. I felt it was going good. Um, it seemed to, it, conversation was nice to have for a change. Um, Rather than just being deleted at the first hurdle. Um, and yeah, it was going alright. It wasn't spectacular. It wasn't like we brushed into anything or like that. But you know, I felt quite confident. You know, I might actually get a date for once. Um, and then all of a sudden the messages back stopped. And... I left it a few days. I mean, we'd been, like I say, we'd been messaging about a week or two. And it had been quite a flu fluid conversation. And, you know, we'd, messages back would usually be within an hour or two. So, 
the take. But then this stopped, so I left it for about a day or two. And then I tried to reopen the conversation just in case maybe perhaps my last message had ended the conversation, she didn't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know. It's online dating, can't say. Um, and so I send a simple message back, trying to reignite the conversation, and get nothing back. And then it gets deleted a day or two later. No response, no, I'm sorry, I've maybe found someone, or I don't think we're going to connect, blah, blah, blah. No, nothing back. And maybe, I don't, I don't know the etiquette. Perhaps on online dating, everyone has their own rules, and maybe I don't deserve something back in response, but it seems a bit rude. Um, and this isn't the first instance of this happening, um, and I'm sure, given the fact that I'm not exactly a catch, and I'm probably going to be on online dating for a long, long, long time. It probably will be the last time either. Um, and I don't get it. Uh, I to, if there's no connection there, fine, just say I'm sorry for connection. If someone else has come along that's more attractive to me, but it's not exactly hard, or Hoover could come along and beat me in a dating game, fine, whatever. Sucks, but shit. Life goes on. But I just, I don't know. It just seems stupid to me. Um, I will admit, I freely admit to anyone and everyone who asks, I am lonely as hell. I've been single a hell of a long time. And there's little things in a relationship, and I'm not talking about you know, going to bed or all that, but it's stuff like cuddling, just having someone to chat to, arguing over what film or TV show you're going to put on. Little stuff like that. It's just not the same when you live on your own and you've been single as long as I have. Um, I don't know. I doubt it will ever change, if I'm honest, at this point. I'm only getting fatter. My hair's only disappearing faster. And, you know, I'm not exactly a catch. Um, but it sucks. And... Um, and that's a whole depression game, you know, it, it sucks, um, it sucks the absolute life out of you, literally, um, I've got no fight in me, not just for relationships, not for that at this point, but for everything, I mean, it's a case of, Why fight? Why keep fighting? Every time I've fought for something in my life, I've had it spat back at me. Every time I've worked my backside off to get somewhere, I end up nowhere. Um, I don't know, it just feels like I don't know, you've heard me ramble on these things before if you've watched one of my old videos. If you have, I'm sorry. Um, but that's the confusing part of the depression. It, it's like your brain is in a blender. And just when maybe things seem to be straightening out and perhaps a normal life but you know who knows <laughs> it's normal life people talk about um and just when you think finally here we go finally i can be normal again or at last someone switches the blender back on and then the brain gets all mushed up and you don't know up from down left from right you're less scrambling to gather in your emotions and 
then you do it all again. And then it's a constant cycle that at least I go through, I'm sure other people depression go through. It just is never ending. Um, and there is only so much of that someone can take. And I'm going to tell you now that I am at the end of this road. I feel I, I'm not going to fight my depression anymore. I've said that in previous videos. Why? Why bother? I continue to take my pills like a good boy. Now continue to put on my face like a normal person so no one knows anything's up but why should I bother making an effort anymore because I'm just gonna get it spat back at me in the dating game and everything there's not a moment in my life at the minute where I feel that I'm on the right track. Nothing in a minute. <laughs> and that's not going to change anytime soon. So I'm just going to go through the same crappy routines, and if I try and improve it or change it, it'll make no difference. So I get dragged even further down. So. Just, and people telling me, and I've had this a few times, other people have it worse off than you. Oh. Oh. That makes me so angry because I know other people have it worse off than me. I know they do. But this is my struggle, and trying to downplay it by saying other people have it worse off than you. It's such a kick in the gut. I've got a big gut. Like, what are you supposed to say to that? How are you supposed to react? Oh yeah, you're right, everything's fine and dandy now. Because it isn't, I'm still miserable as crap. I still think very negative thoughts and would love nothing more than to act on some of those, if I'm honest. But that just only makes me a selfish person. I'm not allowed to be selfish, am I? But then I'm told I have to be selfish to get out of my depression and start thinking... And this is the cycle. <laughs> this is what goes through my head on a daily basis. And it's my life. Um, whether I like it or not. So, that's it. I said I had a few things to get off my chest. I'm sure I will again soon. Um... So I will leave it here for now, I guess. Uh, again, feel free to comment, subscribe, like, do whatever you want. If you actually watch a full video, I'm sorry. If you watched a full video of some of my other ones as well, I'm sorry. Um, this is just a fat man who likes to ramble by the sounds of it. So I'm back. I'll be back again, I'm sure. Um, but for now, I will leave it here and. I shall speak to you all soon, I guess. Bye-bye.